remember that we don't say Lord Voldemort's name. That's right. Welcome to the Pitch Kitchen Podcast, where we talk about anything on our minds over breakfast, <laughs> lunch, dinner, honestly, anytime we feel like eating. I'm your host, Meg. With me are my co hosts, Jared. Hi. And Sean. Yo, what's up, everyone? It's been a while. Long ass time, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What have you been up to? It's been a hot minute since the last one you've been in. Okay. Let, 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 how, how do we. Yeah, I can't either. How do we sum this up? <laughs> well, I had a change in my job, which is all the better, right? Uh, yeah. I'm a year older. I'm officially 50. I'm a, so that, that's going in my favor. Uh, and I've been irritated at Destiny. And long before all the nonsense happened, so I've been playing a lot of other video games. So, like, Assassin's Creed Mirage, nice. Warhammer, Inquisitor Martyr. That's another one I've been playing. I got I got a whole repertoire. Uh, let's see, that one, that one. Oh, uh, Diablo 4. I've been playing Diablo 4 a lot. Nice. That game's kind of cool. I've actually played the hell out of that game. That's a sad statement. And I can't remember all the games I've been playing. That's a, how many I've been playing. I've just seen I play one, get bored, move it to the next, play the next. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, it's just like, oh, okay. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We have I, I, a very similar issue in the sense that there's a lot of games that we've been wanting to play. Like, we have a lot of choices for games that we've been playing. Oh, yeah, wow. that's a, that's going to play into our conversation later. And, you know, that's ultimately what's been happening is that when you're dissatisfied with a the game, there's a lot of different options right now. Yeah. And I mean, it's a great consumer market, but bad if you really want people to stay with your game. It's it's also bad if you really want to play a game and just have no desire to because it's currently in a very shit spot. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of that going around. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of fucking games not good right now. And it was number, podcast number 41 was the last time you were here. What are we on now? Oh. <sighs> talk about it oh boy okay. 63 uh, i was also a drag to be around too so it's probably better i wasn't here because I, I wasn't I in a good uh, yeah, i know exactly. i was I anytime was, i talked I was... to you during that time you were fine i don't know yeah you know that when pe i run into people on my campus they haven't uh, on the main campus, because I'm off on the satellite one, and they just they can see a physical difference in it, and so that's great. I, I just, uh, yeah, no, that's cool. I just assumed that that also meant I was in a uh, poor ass mood. No, they had you been talking about the surgery and everything. But going well. Oh yeah, that... I have been losing a lot of weight. Uh, my wife was just talking about that again. Nice. But. Which is always good. It's kind of the cheater's way. <laughs> See, everyone says it's the cheater's way, but you still have to go through the exact same amount of shit along with the surgery. Yeah. 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 There's some. Which don't uh, get me wrong. 100% you have the option of your fucking stomach size of an egg now. So you <laughs> physically can't egg. eat egg. Can't eat as much as everyone else can. So Correct. you ha do have the physical option of it being easier because you can't eat. But motherfucker, it's still difficult. You gotta kick a habit of eating like you used to you gotta actually do the work still <laughs> yeah I, 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 Jules and I uh, been hitting the gym nice love that 
Yeah, I'm the king of the treadmill. Nice. Hell get yeah. Get the cardio in, get the blood flowing. Yeah, because I don't want to... I put on muscle really fast, so I'm like, let's, let's just finish. <laughs> let's finish this first journey, and then we'll worry about my jewels, man. That kid touches the weights, and he's chest puffed up, so... Oh, to be that age again. <laughs> yeah. The best way to gain anything at the gym is do the things you enjoy. Dude, we go uh, late at night when nobody's there and I have the treadmills to myself, which I much prefer. Do you have a favorite I one know. or you just hop around? Huh? Uh, uh, I hop Yo, around. <laughs> have, I don't... Do you, um, do you just, like, do a speed walking on the treadmill or do you, like, start jogging and stuff? Uh, so I've been doing it by hand. So I start out on what's the quick start and I go... And so I just speed walk. But by the end of my workout, I have the incline up to five, and I'm at 3.7 uh, speed. Okay, gotcha. That's so, cool. um, I was just gonna ask because for me, when I when I've been jogging lately, I've had this issue where my foot will get the treadmills like car that that carpet part of it will s like. Um, go forward while the treadmill itself is going backwards like oh. and that's happened to me a number of times now it's it's like really scary because that could just send me flying <laughs> luckily i've uh, like, had my balance that is kind of scary like I'm it's, it's it slides forward while the treadmill's like running in the right way, you know? Yeah. Maybe our treadmills are different. Yeah, maybe. I've, um, I'm have i thinking that I'm going to take a step back from doing the treadmill as my main cardio thing and do um, either bike. bikes. Yeah, yeah. Bikes or um, do they, stairs. Do they have the steppers at your place? Or are they uh, rowing yeah. machines? Uh, I don't know if they have any rowing machines at my place, but they do have the, um, the stairs. That's what you're talking about. Bitch. Yeah, the stair stepping machine. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's like a conveyor I'm belt of steps. Knees. Oh, dude. I, I think I'm going to have to take my cane, my old man. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, I feel that. I'm nowhere near your age and fuck stairs. Oh, yeah, I know. That's not good. It's the worst. So is that all you've been up to? Just yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, we do have a, a five-year plan. Nice for when I retire and, and then sell the house and move and buy a farm or something. Nice. So yeah, that's it. What you've been up to, Mac? <sighs> Editing. Finally got a fucking video out after I've been saying it for the last three fucking podcasts. But there's been Hell some yeah. Nice shit. Yeah, I can't always yeah. be controlling that. Are you doing full length uh, content or are you chopping them up into uh, shorties for uh, YouTube? And... I go anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes per video. And then I also do uh, the shorts, like the. I try to keep it under a minute. So I don't have to do different fucking length ones for TikTok and YouTube because YouTube only lets you do a minute. Oh, okay. But sometimes it happens. I think I had to do... Uh, I think I've only had to do a part one and part two once because of YouTube. Yeah, That's cool. I, I, everything goes up on like any type of shorts. Go up on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Oh, yeah, I forgot Instagram's king of uh, the short place. format video, too. That's the one Jerry is fucking Doom Squirrels. Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I don't have a TikTok. 
what is it about that? And one day we got to talk about the psychology of that because holy cow, I can lose an hour just it's like short form content that can just keep you entertained. It gets it stimulates your brain just enough to keep you doing it. It's the ADHD that we all fucking have. Yeah, no kidding, right? I think maybe educators should pay attention to this and yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, there's some teachers that have implemented games and shit to actually get you to learn, and not just, like, the stupid goddamn math and numbers games. Like, actual games that are fun. And it show, has shown so fucking much that it's good, that people learn. If you teach them how they enjoy things, they learn. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, and the I, way that people I, enjoy things is by watching people do parkour on Minecraft while a AI voice is talking about a Reddit story. I hate those. Yeah, what is? I I don't like those either. I like um. I, I used to like uh, cosplay videos a lot more, but when you like cosplay videos, <laughs> then then you get stuck with not so much cosplayers. Yeah. Cosplay I think what he's talking videos. about is like actually making the cosplay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, yeah that, the aspect yes. of making everything about the cosplay, and then you get the cosplayers, which I'm not saying the cosplayers don't build their own things. It's just there's a demographic. The, there's two different type of cosplayers. Yeah, there's the ones that show off their assets, and there's the ones that are the asset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And but I like watching uh damn creative like people. Yeah, well, both is good. I'm trying to not be the creeper old man looking at young girls' butts and stuff as they're dancing on the screen and shit. So I try to avoid those. Yeah. But I, I, I do like watching how the costumes are made cuz that's Oh yeah. It's especially the wings. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I I sat there. I think I sat for an hour scrolling through because I accidentally fucking just got on that side of someone figuring out what type of glue to use on the styrofoam <laughs> because oh, yeah. their aerosol glue just eats through styrofoam. You have to get yeah. a very specific type. Yeah. No. I, like no joke. It was uh, interesting. And I have retained none of the knowledge of what is the actual things to use are. That's a bummer. <laughs> I'm never going to use it, but yeah. It's hilarious. <clears throat> oh, there's also TwitchCon stuff that got announced that I forgot to write down that we could talk about. If your keyboard is noise, it's Jared's or it's keyboard. It's Jared's keyboard. That one's I, Jared, but we have the I exact same I purposely have... Oh, you do? Like, I like the noisy keyboards. That's why mine's so loud. It's the so, switches. It's the red switches, right? Green. Uh, I, I think mine are green. green. Yeah. Did you know that there's green. Omni switches? I had no idea that those even oh, existed. My, yes. Mine must be red, because mine aren't anywhere near as loud as your guys'. Uh, okay. I think there'd be, if there, there's would be brown you... if they're not loud. Right? It, what keyboard yours? Mine? It's a yes. custom Keychron. Okay. So that could be any type of switch, except for, I think, Razor's itself. Because uh, okay. Razor has its own switches. I don't know who makes them, or if Razor makes them themselves. But you could have... Gatorons, you could have Kales, you could have the one, the one company that Tom always stood behind. They're like the standard. I just can't remember the uh, fucking name. Del Taco? Uh, no. Oh, I didn't know he talked about keyboards all the time. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to it wasn't all the time, but there were times when I'd be like, I need to get a new fucking keyboard, and he'd recommend anything with those switches. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that much went into switches. Oh yeah, there's a lot. You can get pre lubed ones, lube them yourself. You can buy like you can buy keyboard boards that you can either solder the switches onto, or they have a you know just a press in like you just push the fucking thing in and it connects. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you so they're swappable, which yeah. is kind of cool too. I know the uh, individual that made my keyboard uh, lubed all the switches and stuff for me. Nice. Yeah, Melvin got into a kick of doing the building keyboards. That's pretty cool. He did it during one podcast. He was just sitting there looping keys during one podcast. I remember that. Mm. Hey, does mom still have the um, co-worker that likes, uh, that does the keyboards? Yeah. Her name is Lily. But no, uh, back on the topic of yours, if they're not loud, but you also have that tactile feel to it, it'll most likely be something around browns. That oh, is okay. usually like the standard color that everyone uses for the quiet tactile feel. Damn, I cannot believe I got all of the colors right without being like a big com computer person. I just yeah. remember what Tom and you used to say about the different yeah. switches. Reds are usually the silent ones. That they they have their speed silent. Uh, they don't make any noise. I mean, obviously you can have plastic tapping on plastic, so you're gonna have some noise with the keys. But the switch itself makes no noise and it has no tactile feel to it. <coughs> so yeah. Huh. And then uh, Razor's got yellow and orange. Orange is the equivalent to browns. Yellow is speed. Then they have their fucking, uh... What are they called? Let me go to this site. It's in the Huntsman only, if I'm not mistaken. It's their purple fucking switches. Keyboard. 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 There's your Huntsman. Optical switches. Yeah. Apparently they're good. I hear a lot of mixed things about them. Nothing like definitive of their complete garbage. But nothing no, screaming like you have to own it. Oh, I just like it. And let's see what else they got. Let's type in switches. Yeah, they got green, orange, and yellow. Yellow is their speed, orange is the quiet tactile, and green's loud. The loud one. Yeah. I enjoy it, but I'm starting to reach that point of I don't need it this loud. I, I love the feel. I want the feel of it. I don't need the fucking sound. Are you sure? <clears throat> Absolutely. You don't need it for AS, uh, is it? ASMR. ASMR. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm not the one into ASMR. <clears throat> it's your. That's a whole other thing. Oh yeah, uh, that's a that's a something. Those videos like send me into rage. I don't know. Um, uh, besides editing, I've played some games. League, uh, what else have we played? We did some Overwatch. I, th did I talk about MW3 in the last podcast? Were you playing know. it or are you so. just hearing about it? beta. I think you well, talked okay. a little bit about it. Yeah, I, I, I think I did as well. Yeah, no, I Is played the beta. It wasn't bad. It felt like COD. It was the classic MW2 maps, which I enjoyed. The only reason I would remotely even give a shit about it, because the recent maps they've made 
they have all been garbage. Yeah, Some right, people are going to disagree. I don't care. It's my opinion. Yeah, are we still... Okay, are we still allowed to have opinions? Like, uh, I'm going to fucking only, have opinion. Only on Sundays. Only on Sundays? The yeah. opinion police aren't here for us? Exactly, uh, no. it's the podcast. Right, no. If you do a podcast and it's on Sunday, the opinion police can't touch it. That's true, it's oh. facts. Phasmophobia, yeah. the Halloween Phasmophobia event was fun. We played that. Um, it didn't really dude, that, have anything, but it was fun. That game's gonna gonna be talked about in history. Video game history class. This is the little game that could. It's still fucking going. It's very similar yeah. to um the life of um Five Nights at Freddy's. Where it gained like a little following and then it got really popular because of certain people that were streaming it. Yep. Is that fun? Does it does Phasmophobia have its own um Mark Plyer Plyer? Yes. yes. Not as big as him, but in the horror game genre, yes. And Mark has played it as well. Cool. Yeah. They deserve the everyone fucking playing the game. It's top tier. And if more people play it, more people buy it, that means they can spend more money on making the game better. And they're yeah, actually no doing it at a consistent pace, too. <clears throat> oh, I realized something else we could talk about. You What's guys that? probably know more about me. The uh, respawn troll that everybody thought we were getting time oh, that fucking thing. Yeah, we can uh, talk about that. Uh, we'll, we'll, hit, I, we'll, we'll hit it after we go through it. your recap. We'll hit it right after we go through your recap. I recap. Yeah. Because I that's okay. all I've done. I, I've played some games. I edited. It's it's been a time. We've been doing. Jack. I mean. Uh, you know, same things, for the most part. Um, playing the same games as Smack, except the other games I've been playing are Genshin and um, Nike and the other games on my phone. I'm fine. Mm. Uh. I, I got to hang out with some friends on Halloween and the the day after, and that was really cool. We went to right. Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, you seem got to a, good, Got a good get together, and then, then the following day we went to an escape room, and then people came back to my place, and we did like Jackbox party games at my place. It was <laughs> a lot of fun. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. And we we beat the <laughs> escape room too. Which was nice. Cool. Uh I have a picture oh, I... if you wanted to. We could like put. Oh wait, no, because it's got to Voldemort. Never mind. Yeah, it's got to. You're gonna, you're gonna have to uh, edit. Which one? We haven't said you're the have name to... yet. Oh, Voldemort. Yeah, yeah. That's if we decide to put the picture in. I don't think we're going to. Just for his mental sake yeah i don't think so either i, I thought about that afterwards yeah and it's fine open oh sorry right. i'm talking right. to a game yeah. it's irritated at me <clears throat> okay. uh what else what is that it dude what else we doing anything like anything um, major major todd no, honestly, really, that that was it. Like, that's the big thing um, that I've been now? doing. I liked it. It's not quite how I would have done it. It's not quite the movie that I thought I was going to get. But gotcha. it's, um, it was enjoyable. <clears throat> and good. my girlfriend liked it, so that's good, too. Yeah, that's great. Love that. I've been hearing a lot of mixed things. Yeah, it's, um... It's on Peacock. Yeah, so if you wanted to, we could definitely watch it, Mac. We'll have to. I would love to. Yeah. Yeah. 
it's definitely a movie worth watching. It's just not quite what you imagine a FNAF adaptation being, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's one of those situations of, for one, the lore is so fucking convoluted. And two, it's a video game adapted to a movie. They haven't fucking got that formula down yet, which makes zero fucking sense. Because you look yeah. at the fucking games itself. Take away the actual gameplay happening and just look at the cutscenes. There's your movie. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because I could go well, right now. I still haven't fully, like, I have watched some of Ragnarok, but I haven't seen the entire story of it. God of War. That's what I'm talking about, by okay. the way. Okay, I was like, what are we? What's going on? It's, it's God of War Ragnarok. <clears throat> I could go watch that right now. Full fucking cussings, all of it. Why can't we just do that? Why do we gotta reinvent the fucking wheel? Give us, like, <laughs> the actual question. story. Not be like, let's change it up. <clears throat> we, which is part of the fucking reason that I've seen a lot of mixed things about it. Because they didn't really stick with everything that people wanted to see. But I'm in the same boat of, I don't really give a shit. I mean, is it really supposed to tie into the lore? Or is it just supposed to tell more FNAF story? Because it's the Are same thing. It's... I'm just in general. Because oh. remember, back when the fucking Halo series fucking showed up, there was my exact fucking thought process of, why are you fucking bitching about it? If you want the goddamn exact Halo story, go play the fucking games. I want yeah. more info on the universe. No, I I really, really liked. I really liked the Halo series because of what it did. It, and like, it's we, we're learning more. There's a different take. Yeah, like different like take, comics. but it's it's the same, like important yeah. parts yeah. of the story, right? Yeah. Look at it like the look at it like comic books. You go so long, and then you kill off that iteration and make a new fucking iteration. It's got the same basis. Look at fucking Spider Man. Spectacular? Into the fucking Spider-Verse. Look at how many different ones there are. They're all tied together at a certain fucking point, and then they have different things happen to them. Oh, yeah. Look at No Way Home. Three different fucking Spider-Men. Well, that's one of them didn't have an Uncle Ben. Do the Uncle Ben, do the Uncle Ben, Uncle Ben, do the Uncle Ben. I haven't watched any of fucking Tom Holland movies, so to my knowledge, he doesn't have an Uncle Ben. Liam. Oh, oh I caught myself. Oh, I caught myself. <laughs> I caught myself. <laughs> caught yourself what? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. <laughs> I think he was about to have an opinion. <laughs> Entirely possible. It might have been an opinion and a combination of gamer words. Who knows? Great. <laughs> Man. <Anyway. laughs> but uh, I think for all of our... Uh, safety. Safety? It will remain a mystery. The filter caught something. That <laughs> I think so because uh, I'm not eating uh, Lexapro like it was... Uh, Candy? The Cax? Yeah. anymore uh for my <laughs> i i haven't taken any i don't even know how long now but <laughs> my filter works a lot better <laughs> like oh yeah no no that'd be bad that'd be Is bad that a good thing or a bad thing uh, yeah <clears throat> well we'll see <laughs> absolutely uh, Unfilt unfiltered you is it's a treat 
I had a bad day. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Jerry's out with me. Jerry's out. I... <laughs> Are we caught up with you, Jared? Yeah, like I said, I it's very much similar to you. Like we work in tandem, but it's um, a lot of time. Yeah. Anything big? Not really anything else besides that. I mean, just just work. Nothing new with work that's really relevant. I mean, our corporation got sold, and we're like doing that whole transitioning process. Yeah. But nothing interesting in terms of news yet. Okay. That's so. It's something. I don't know if it's good or bad. I don't know the inner workings of your work. The inner workings of my work are... <laughs> there, there's some comedy there. There is. Uh, okay. We'll jump into the thing that Jared wanted to know more about. I have a vague understanding just because doom scrolling TikTok, but uh, for a good amount of time, recently was the Titanfall 2 uh, anniversary, <laughs> and they had a specific date right for that anniversary, and there was a three. Everyone was screaming Titanfall 3. I sent it to you. I sent you like three fucking videos about it. No, no I, I saw, I just didn't see what they announced it was. It was just a I fucking Titanfall 2 event. Yeah. It was just a Titanfall I... 2 anniversary event, and apparently it wasn't that good. Mind you, the fucking game works now. Like, you can actually go play it, and it's a fun time, from what I hear. I don't own the game. I think. I'm not gonna lie, that's so funny. Oh, yeah, so the good news is the Titanfall 2 servers are back online. Oh, yeah. Which means if you want to play Titanfall 2 and hop in and do the PvP, and they brought a bunch of, uh, they brought some anniversary game modes online. Yep. Which still gives people hope that they might be doing a remaster of it or doing something, but, you know, a response to the list. Star Wars games and other stuff that they got going on. They've also been showing a lot of like Titanfall to like Titanfall shit for Apex. Yeah. They're gonna. I kill mean, what it they could do. Run Apex. Well, no, what they could do. It's it's super easy. Like uh, they just make it like how they did um that um Call of Duty game that had Warzone where. It's a free game, but you have to buy the campaign, and the campaign's, like, part of that game, but it's also its own separate thing. And the campaign's Titanfall, the rest of it's just Apex. Well, in that sense, no, it's like, no one would fucking install Titanfall. No, like, it, it'd probably be an update on Apex. <clears throat> And then you could buy the game on that. Is, why don't they just make a Titanfall PvP game mode within Apex? Where you have jump they packs. Don't, they don't have mechs the, yet. You could do it without the mechs. You just have jump packs. Well then, it's essentially already there. It's oh, just... yeah. Th the wall running is where it's... They don't have the exact same movement. It's a very unique to a certain character. Oh. Well, darn. They I could mean, do it. There are ways they could do it because it's essentially the. Everything comes down to the base game of Apex and Titanfall. It's essentially the same. So they can pro they can code it to where they could put all of that shit in there, or vice versa, just put all the fucking Apex characters in Titanfall too also an option they have the options right. they have the fucking workers that could do it ea does in fact have people that can do a very good job apparently battlefront 2 is back to functioning and is good really yeah That's i keep hearing people talk about it but 
You know, I, I just remember the kind of the emotional connection because nothing was as cool as for that, hearing that prepare for Titanfall. It was kind of cool. I mean, it was a unique... Uh, it was a unique game. It was a the very, time, right? Compared to everything else, it was a very unique experience. They also released it they were both fucking Titanfall releases were at a very shit time too. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um Titanfall if not the first was one of the first ones where that sliding um gunfire attack like you know what I'm saying sprint sliding became like the popular thing in first person shooters. Oh it might have been. Yeah, actually, it I think it might, you might be correct. Release, because COD did uh, do multiple games like that. Let's see. That'd be a question for Jules, I bet. He would know right off the top of his head because he was the king of slide castle. Remember March 11th, 2014. March 11th, 2014. That was the day to remember. By the way, speaking of which, remember, remember, the 5th of November. That's right. Oh, boy. Infinite Warfare was 2016. Advanced Warfare. Dang, I forgot the, the was number. Was 2014. Maybe I had one job. 2014. <laughs> yeah, you did. November 4th. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I can't. It it's before COD, hundred percent, because it was uh, March or May, one of the two. Either way, it was before November. It's gonna be May. The uh, only other game that could have been responsible for it was that crazy game that Jared liked. That was all hardcore, is like Mirror's Edge. Yeah, something. Mirror's Edge. But that wasn't a shooter. No, it had shooting aspects on it, but it was not a shooter. I just remember that being a thing because I know that lots of people were complaining that that's just now how everything is. I think what they call it is boots on the ground, right? Because everything know. had like jump pads, yeah, jump packs. Everything is now boots on the ground comparably to uh, oh, no, no, advanced no. warfare, infinite warfare. Uh, other way around, like like mm. boots on the on the ground was like the old thing, and now everything is like the newer, like with the jump packs and like I think that's Nothing what the complaint was. Jump packs anymore anywhere. Okay. Uh, we we went that... through that era with infinite warfare, advanced warfare, and then every fucking thing up to I think uh, Cold War. With Call of Duty, and then Titanfall 2 and all that shit. Now, it's basically everything is back to boots on the ground. Infinite, uh, MW3, and then all the fucking Battle Royales. <clears throat> everything is back to, yes, you have sprinting, you have mantling, you have all that shit, but you don't have the wall running, you don't have the jumping fucking across six foot gaps with the jetpack. So, did Titanfall predate uh, Attack on Titan? No. That was Attack on Titan was first? Are you just so like comparing them because of the names? No, the the reason why I'm asking is because of the the jump pack is essentially a copy of the other jump pack, just it doesn't have swords in it, right? They took the swords out for Titanfall. Oh, huh. interesting theory. I I'm not a September twenty eighth, twenty thirteen. Yeah, see, so it's kind of a cool concept, right? But. It's neither here nor there. I think that for a lot of people, Titanfall filled the gap of people wanting a Halo game. It filled Cause... the gap of people wanting a new shooter that was new, not just a rehash of every fucking thing else. Yeah. 
And to jump over, you're still playing Halo, aren't you, Mac? Do I see you on there periodically? On and off, yeah. Has it gotten any better? I haven't played Infinite it in a is in time. a very good spot. Uh, I have to throw it up. Is there Master more like campaign stuff? No. I, for uh, one, still haven't beat the fucking campaign. I need to. I just need to sit down one day and say, fuck it. Fuck everyone else. I'm just playing Halo. I've never actually played the campaign. You have it? Nope. I think they finally oh, you released should. co-op. So we can run it together. Double check that. You can run it before. I ran it with uh, Jules. Yeah, that was a... Fucked up way of doing it, though. Yeah. And it was harder than hell, too. Yeah. What I'm saying now is I think it's legitimately out now. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Oops. Fuck off, Reddit. Trying to look... Yeah, looks like uh, it's out. So we can run it co-op, dude. As long as you have Game Pass. Mac, we have so many things that we're playing right now. Hey! Right off. And how many of them are gotcha games? Th I'm not even counting any of that. No, because that's like... just his solo shit he does while he's on the toilet. Or while we're uh, playing League. Dude, if you guys... Or while we're doing this. If you guys got back into Warframe, there's a lot of new content for Warframe since the last time y'all played. I'm not going to like Warframe. I, I, it, it didn't... It, it didn't scratch the itch. I do oh. like Warframe. I just... I'm playing so many different things right now. <laughs> Man hasn't even fucking gotten back into Starfield. Yeah. I haven't gotten into, back into Starfield. I haven't finished Starfield. What about, uh, Game Pass. one of you is talking about First <laughs> Descend It, right? About what? We've First Descend It? We've talked about it some. Is it, I, like, fully out? I thought it was, like, in beta stage. I think it was it just is. a beta recently. I don't think it's even still out. Um, I don't remember. I grab my phone and I'll look on Steam. I feel like looking on the computer. Maybe breaking something. And Flintlock never released. <clears throat> that was the game Jared was waiting for. Mm. Oh yeah, Flintlock looks really cool. Yep, it's out of... The beta is no longer out. Oh, okay. Just still coming soon. I heard good things. I seen good things. Yeah, it's... Uh... Warframe killer, right? That's what everyone's calling it. I thought it was Warframe, Destiny. Destiny. Uh, Destiny's killing itself. Bungie's killing oh. Destiny right now. No, wait, well, wait, yeah, we can get there. Yeah. Because... Right, that's a good spot to get to that. Well, we gotta talk about First Descendant's ass. Huh? Everyone played a female character, and they would just... Jared. Jared. What? I'm... Yes, you would Mac. love the game. Dang. Just because of the it. visuals. It's got the content. We gotta it's got play it then. The story. It's we got gotta the play assets. it. Mac. <laughs> it's not out yet. We can't play it. How many times do I have to say we gotta play it then? Uh, I want. I, let me go through my fucking spiel first. Let okay. me finish my joke. Okay. It's, uh, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no. And like, the the biggest thing everyone was talking about is that if you played a woman character, it was just... It looked so good. Her butt? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. The I game looked good in that. general, though. Like, it just had a... It looked good... Anytime I heard anyone talk about it, it was like, for a beta, it was good. I don't think it's ready for a full release yet. 
I don't think I've ever, I heard anyone say it was ready for full release. Uh, I'm going to say a few things about MW3. Don't buy it. Campaign is like four fucking hours. And it's all fucking... Uh, basically, it's just missions that were on the Warzone map. Uh. And it's shit. Everyone's saying it's shit. Fucking even... Uh, Jev. Face up? Yeah. Love that guy. He didn't like it. Dang. And that's Mr. Call of Duty. Mr. Call of Duty. That's whenever I, whenever I think of Call of Duty, uh, he's the one that comes to my mind. That's pretty funny. <clears throat> well, he's he's an OG fucking COD content creator, and he still does the content. He's yeah. not someone who's hopped around multiple times. Yeah, he's played other shit, but he's not... He's gone back to what he enjoys. <clears throat> he also doesn't make, you know, stupid fucking content and scam people out of their money. Well, who does that? A lot of the other phase members. Oh... Uh... Well, apparently a lot of the other phase members, if you uh, watch Bad Boy Beeman, are big cheaters, too. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them. Like, uh, there's a whole group of people that work with that Beeman guy now, and I guess they they zoom in and they show how their reticles snap, and they also show how the phase people uh, are playing on South African servers. Amazing. What? So that they don't get the same pool that everyone else does. Yeah, the higher level players. Yeah. Yeah, no. But yeah, MW3. But Garbage can. It was a dumpster fire from on release day. Oh boy. Hopefully you it gets better. Because it, they released the campaign early. They let everyone oh. who pre-ordered play it early. Couldn't fucking... Like, you could open the game, couldn't start the campaign. It'd tell you, go to the store, buy the fucking Vault Edition, which is the $100 version, and then you already owned it. Like, I'm sold. Like, you already fucking had it, but it's telling you to buy it again, and then you couldn't fucking do it. It... It's, fucking irritating that every goddamn time it's just they release shit and so many people still fucking buy it still fucking play it sorry bro. because the pvp is good I don't, I don't even know if it is i think it it i think it's just like the old school days of it's just the social game your friend group plays it, so you just fucking play it. Look at League. I'm looking at League. Get off League. I'm not on League anymore. Good. That's how we fucking treat League in the group. None of us fucking like the game. Everyone I fucking plays it, though. Wait. Lying to the people! I've been having fun with that. I that is the game you guys love to complain about. I, was that a question of what game do we love to complain about? I don't have enough time to list. The answer is yes. I don't think there was a question there, Mac. No, I was saying, isn't it the game you guys love to complain about? I mean, that's the... Uh, it's not a matter of liking no. the game, you just like... You play about it and complain about it, I guess is what I was saying. Yeah. And is it because it's full of it. cheaters that you guys don't like it? No, we actually... It's because we're bad at the game that we don't like it. I don't think you're bad at it. We're not good. Oh, I'd say well. we're mediocre. Oh, uh, okay. 
That's 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 enough of MW3. It's shit. Don't buy it. Fuck it. Get rid of it. Wait till it comes on Game Pass, then just spend ten bucks to play it. That's my opinion. Don't spend the full seventy. It wasn't worth full seventy from the beta. It damn sure ain't worth full seventy now. Dude, I'm not gonna play it. Pay for it. I I'm getting. I'm waiting for it to come out on Game Pass. Next year. No, oh, I can wait. <laughs> Absolutely. And by next year, it's just it's going to be the day after Christmas. You watch, don't release it. That would be great. That honestly, that would be great, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I guess let's get into Bungie. Let's get Bongo. into uh, that dumpster fire. Mungo fucked up, y'all. They it laid up people bad. off. Dude, they just look horrible. They laid people shit. off. They delayed the final shape. I'm not sure if Bubba. that's a hundred percent guaranteed delay, but I've seen a few things stating that final shape's delayed, and so is marathon. By the way, thoughts on marathon? Garbage. Uh, you know what? Apparently, it's supposed to be based off Tarkov, like uh, that style of game. And yeah, they had and, uh... the Tarkov streamers come in and play it. With the context of it's not finished, it's not ready for fucking release, they proceed to ask them, hey, if this released tomorrow, would you play it? No one raised their hands. Motherfuckers, you told them it's not ready yet. Why would they even remotely be like, yeah, I'll play it. No, you fight. you're an idiot. Don't give them that context and then fucking ask them that question. Yeah, there's a a lot of issues with that whole idea, but you know what Marathon had? The, I think this is what pissed off the de uh, Destiny community the most. When oh, it they came had out. Everyone from fucking Destiny working on Marathon? That and Marathon has dedicated servers. Dedicated WAM. Yeah. yeah. And everybody was like, what? And we had garbage. I, yeah. Which makes everybody feel like they're just sabotaging Destiny at this point. They are. And no, 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 sabotage. Destiny is not well, producing the fucking money that it, for one, it used to, or that it could. Well, because it suck. <clears throat> Everybody's tired of, uh, like, this, la this last event that came out, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you have to get those stupid pages and you get those stupid yep. pages by doing things you've already done yeah you get the pages and... by playing strikes crucible gambit no one's playing gambit for fucking pages but anything um, outside of the fucking event you get pages from oh, guess it's what actually the fastest i've way played to get pages. what gambit yeah i hate to tell you it's that. how fucking fast how fucking fast the games are yeah i yeah figured. uh but guess what I've been playing the game since motherfucking release day, and you haven't added anything more than one strike of fucking expansion. And you've taken things away. A lot of things. They don't need them. They've taken a significant amount of things away, and I, but make the event based around playing the fucking weekly shit that I'm already fucking playing. And then... You make the servers the worst fucking servers available, so I try and play PvP, proceed to hit three fucking headshots, and don't do any damage until I'm dead. The amount of times I would fucking hit someone, reload my gun, and then the damage go through, oh, yeah, was bad. irritating. And they let people not... off for that. Yeah. You know, there's there's no fucking wonder why people are leaving the game. There's no fucking wonder why people didn't buy fucking the last DLC. Don't get me wrong. I didn't mind it. Was it anything near Witch Queen? Fuck no. Oh, Witch Queen was badass. 
it was top tier. The story, everything about it was good. Except the one thing that we were trying to get more story information and they were all like, oh, we'll explain when we explain. Yeah. <laughs> like with the witness. Yeah, that what this fucking DLC was supposed to fucking do is answer any type of fucking question and we get a bunch of horse shit. Yeah. I understand not answering everything. I understand we have one more DLC for the 10 year fucking conclusion. Oh, Don't now we make us ask more questions on top of the fucking ones we already had. Dude, and that season this is going to be seven months. Yeah, that's how long the delay is going to be. So this next fucking season, which is going to end, what, mid-December? Yeah. <clears throat> and I wonder what it's going to be season of. Season of... Season of the troll. <laughs> season of give me your money. <laughs> season of the credit card. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is one thing where I can't separate from the Disney, uh, the Destiny community as large. It's like, I don't really have a problem with paying for the skins if it's something I like. There's nothing forcing me to buy it. Exactly. Um, and I like the skins, and I buy it. And comes support. out for free at some point. Well, yeah. free, it comes out for Bright Dust. Everything comes out for Bright Dust at some point. Which is a lot but, better than a lot of games do, yeah. that's, that's for sure. One thing I was disappointed in that uh, as people are talking, streamers and stuff about all this, they're talking about the amount of silver that uh, Bungie gives them, which before they weren't saying, but like we all suspected that Bungie was giving them silver so they could show off all the stuff in the They were 100% getting store. silver and also just getting shit for free. Yeah. Every fucking streamer well, does. It, it yeah. always fucking happens. It, if you're big enough, you get yeah, it's how they're paying for the game, too, right? They're getting all that silver, and they stockpile the silver, and then they buy the game, uh, the expansions with it. Can you buy the... Yeah. You can buy it with silver through the game I itself. That. I did not know that. Hmm. Mine is cool. Hmm. Yeah, no, I... Eh. Anyone that's... Yeah, wait not fucking thinking that's insane. If you're a big enough fucking streamer, you're getting shit for free. Is everyone doing it? I don't know. Some people don't accept that type of shit. Others take it any chance they can. I would. I like free things. Yeah, no kidding, right? So I had free pancakes. Nice. It's pancake. This, this guy has pancakes. I don't know what it is with this fun with our group in pancakes. Look, I love pan coins, pancakes, and pan pan pans. All right. The man just wants a pan. Buy him a pan. I want to play right. my zombie game where where I make shawarma and beat zombies with pans. That that fucking video was just it. The little dink with the pan was it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I know you don't know what we're talking about. There's a VR game that is being developed in, like, I, th I don't know, one of the um, eastern countries, where it's like you, you are a shawarma owner of this, like, um, you own a shawarma truck. Yeah, yeah, and, and you're you're still serving it during a zombie apocalypse, so you have to keep the zombies like away from you and just like bonk them <laughs> as they come near you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> While you're serving and prepping for your uh, Okay, this game's already a crack up. Yeah, and it's a VR game, so you just get to sit there and like whack away at the zombies and cut the meat for the shawarma. Yep. Uh, this is what Zombie Kebab looks like. A VR game from Polish developers in which you need to cook shawarma and protect your stall from zombies. Still in development. It doesn't look bad. Like, as a VR game, it looks like a typical VR game. and But the idea of it, the concept, is fucking insane. 
Let me just sit here cooking my shawarma and 13 zombies are coming up to try and fucking kick my ass. It's, it's the fucking dink with the pan. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Well, we'll send it to you. Uh, uh, yeah. Let me uh, copy it here. Can't do this. Send it to you. I can't do this. Um, I think that's you on Instagram. Yeah, it was a picture of me with a African American gentleman. Yes. Yeah, that would be me. And that African American uh, is the Samuel Billy Kyles. Uh, that was one of two people with the <laughs> Reverend Martin Luther King when he was assassinated. Cool. Hmm. Uh, oh, man. Yo, that's something, too, that I could have said in my recap. My fucking nose has been so irritated the past, like, three weeks. Dude. Uh, the weather is nuts. I've got a fucking... You reminded me. I've got a fucking sinus infection in only one side of my goddamn nose. And it's on... And it's so... It's irritating me so much because it's fucking with my mouth. Because it's on the side where I have two goddamn cavities that I can't get fucking fixed at the moment because I can't get into the goddamn dentist. And it's pissing them off. So my mouth's in fucking pain right now because my yeah. nose is a bitch. And I can't lay on my right side because then the blood flow happens and it hurts more. So I, have, I can only lay on my left. <clears throat> it's not great. It's not great at all. Uh, I get, Mac, I have a Dremel and I have a pair of pliers. Sean, if it continues like this, I'm headbutting a wall until both these teeth come out. Uh, and I have whiskey. <laughs> That's the most important part. Whiskey of that, ain't gonna whiskey. help me. Well, then, the, then you just need more whiskey if it's not going to help you. I <laughs> Absolutely. Get that shit away from me. Um, Back on the Destiny shit, we didn't talk about any of the fucking layoffs. We just talked about the delays. Well, yeah. Did you it's see about... some of the people they fucking laid off? Yes. And those were the people that were their stock options were going to mature. Damn, that's so scumbag. Apparently it's common, but it doesn't make it any much better. But they let them go on that day that they did because November 1st, they uh, became vested. All those people, the stock options. Yep. Yep. And I'm sad to report that somebody I got started in the game industry about seven years ago got caught up in those layoffs. Fucking sucks yeah and it was a person a female person of color too it was really not good for Bungie and the other weird well, thing that was... these layoffs came uh, when they're, they're in jury selection for the case that the former HR person filed against Bungie <laughs> you've heard about that right I have not I did not so the former HR person was reporting and trying to fix problems that were reported about sexism and racism in the workplace and was fired and has fired a wrongful term termination and retaliation lawsuit in the state of Washington uh, over, I believe they retaliated off of reporting what the employees were reporting. Oh. Sounds like it's a shit show. It is. Mm. Uh, I've got a small list here about things that have happened. Uh, a day after Bungie confirmed the job cuts, it was revealed that the studio had to let go 100 employees or 8% of its 1,200 headcount. <clears throat> this is according to documentation reviewed by Bloomberg. 
The reason is a sharp drop in popularity of Destiny 2 as two weeks ago Bungie told staff at a meeting that the game's revenue was 45% below the full year outlook. Player retention has been declining since the release of Lightfall Expansion, which, by the That's way, right. the fucking devs have been continuously talking to the goddamn higher-ups about, we need to fucking fix this shit, but no, <gasps> they just get let go uh -huh. instead. Some report by IGN indicates that employees have been telling leadership that Destiny 2 player sentiment was at an all-time low, and that studio needs to win players back. In addition, pre-orders for Lightfall, not Lightfall, for the final shape expansion, which was delayed until June 2024, were lower than expected. Guess what? It's significantly lower now with the amount of people that have, well, if they did cancel their pre-orders. A lot of people have been saying they canceled them. Can't blame Yeah, them. I'm wondering if they really did, though. Who knows? I did. You didn't pre-order them. That's my point exactly. No, yeah, who's that? According to people who attended the, that meeting, CEO Pete Parsons said the studio would be cutting costs and implementing salary and hiring freezes. These affected, those affected by layoffs will receive at least three months of severance and three months of bungee paid Cobra health insurance. Cobra! However, employees who were on a vesting schedule following Sony's $3.6 billion acquisition of Bungie will lose any shares that weren't vested as of next month, which they dropped them a fucking day before, so. Great. According to Bloomberg, the job cuts... <clears throat> oh, damn it. Job cuts are part of a larger restructuring at PlayStation, which has already laid off staff at other first-party teams like Media Molecule, Naughty Dog, Visual Arts. However, Forbes' Paul Tassi claimed that the layoff decision came directly from, from Bungie, not Sony. Interestingly, soon after That's announcing... Yeah. Soon after announcing the Bungie acquisition, Sony said it would spend around $1.2 billion to retain the studio's employees. The company expected to pay most of this sum during the first two years after closing the deal. One former employee told IGN that Bungie repeatedly assured, assured staff that there would be no layoffs following the acquisition. Pretty sure management fucked it. <laughs> Yeah. So I, I'm gonna say something that may not be real popular. I would be careful. Uh, and this is I was listening to Paul Tassi too, but I noticed that Paul Tassi's attitude changed about the time that Aztec Cross retracted a bunch of stuff he said. So I have a feeling that I, I don't know. I think Sony reached out to him and said, Hey, this is what you need to say. <laughs> but everybody's got to make money. Well, when stupid shit like this happens, I can't be bought. They ain't going to come to me anyway. It'd be funny if they did. It'd be fucking hilarious if they did. You never know where your things have happened. You are right. One of the major things, like one of the major people that got laid off, though, was Michael Salvatore. Yeah, I know. The one of the who wrote music for Halo and Destiny. Yeah, one of the people that wrote that beautiful music that you guys love from ODST. Yeah. Of. All people to fucking get rid of. The person who makes the music. One of the main reasons a lot of people love the atmosphere of the game. Yeah, let's drop him. Get rid of him. Not worth the money. Yeah. <clears throat> I, just, I just. There has. There had to be a better thing to do than lay a hundred people off, especially the higher up people. As it like, they're still regular fucking people, but they're higher up than just like the people you just brought in. Yes, technically those cost more money, but there's got to be something else you could fucking do. 
as a fucking CEO, you have to look at this and figure out multiple fucking things. You just got bought for a shit ton of fucking money and have been telling these employees, you're not going to get laid off. Sony's not going to fucking let that happen. Proceeds to let it happen. Yeah. Do your job better. Fuck you. Yeah, and it's really bad, too. Yeah, they just spent $1.2 billion, billion with a B yeah. on a building uh, remodel. Yeah. That is hardly getting fucking used because everyone's work from home. Bungie's yeah. one of the fucking companies out there. It was like, you want to work in the office? Go right the fuck ahead. You want to work from home? Go right the fuck ahead. As long as you're doing your job, we don't give a shit. But let's... A billion fucking dollars on a remodel that is so fucking unneeded. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Billion with a B? Yes. Yeah, 1.2. That's what it's been in the article. On a fucking building? On yeah. a remodel. Not on just the fucking building. On completely fucking re doing it. So, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. You're telling me that Destiny remodeled a building for over a billion dollars? For half of the staff, because the other half of the staff got laid off. It was only a hundred of twelve hundred people. If that uh, article is correct, that's a lot of people. But wh from what I keep hearing, a majority of the fucking people that work at Bungie don't work in office. No, because they literally everything that they post online to fill positions for says remote work available. Yeah. Because Bungie is one of the fucking people, like one of the companies, like you don't need to work in office for us. You can sit your ass at home. Because a majority of the shit they do is can be done anywhere. Fuck, most jobs can be done fucking anywhere. That, like, most gaming jobs can be done from anywhere. As long as you got the hardware, it's perfect. Like, you can do anything. Well, Amazon really changed the game of how people are able to work remotely with uh, how they're... Um, they can spin up portable computers or, you know, virtual computers mm -hmm. that respond like they're in office. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. They, AWS solution. And it, because there are so many movies in production that required special effects and like Mandalorian when the pandemic hit, they really push the technology of these virtual workstations. Mm -hmm. And what Amazon offers for companies is they can instantly spin up more uh, on demand as they need it. Oh, yeah. Instantly, too, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, nice. you're going to have 15-member team working on this? Give us one sec. Oh, okay, they're all ready to go. Yeah. It's not well, what I you can do when you throw enough money at a fucking problem. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It just took them how long? Yeah. People don't want to spend it. They think that they spend... Uh, fucking 1% of their fucking 100%, they're losing out. Yeah, and you know, you think we, we were already doing it to some extent because a lot of these video game companies were porting out work to China, com uh, Chinese companies or Korean companies or companies in... Uh... Yeah. Overseas work, anywhere. Yeah. Like, anyone that was going to do the job well probably less pay they were getting work from everyone else well certainly less I don't know if it's less pay but those companies have less overhead because yeah. of where they are 
Um, because the economy is different. A lot of people look overseas for it being cheaper. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Hands down, it is. Um, but, and it probably is a lower hourly rate for people, which is a shame. I think that big companies should have to pay the same as before. Yeah. What? You know. Uh, it is what it is. I hope they continue to let people work remotely. Yeah. But I'm sad Maybe for all those people. Staff if they don't. Oh, uh, they're probably going. Do you think they don't care about losing staff? <laughs> they did it to themselves, literally. You're not wrong. And they're most likely going to lose some more fucking staff anyway with people walking out. Well, well the other thing that the pandemic did, uh, which was kind of cool, <gasps> is it allowed the entertainment <laughs> union, uh, IATSE, IA, mm -hmm. to develop a um, game workers uh, arm of them. Nice. So, love that. <clears throat> Top tier. So, they could hear shortly. <clears throat> yeah. Be unionizing, hopefully. Hey, if they do and it works, great. Hope it's a union that actually, you know, works. Because nowadays there are a good number that just don't do what the fuck they're supposed to do. Well, the auto workers, the unions certainly... They're trying to fucking get shit done. They have. From what I understand is they brought Ford to their knees. Oh, has it finally gone forward now? Yeah, they uh, had the President of the United States announce it. Oh, I haven't seen anything more on it. Yeah, they reached an agreement. And uh, what the big uh, thing, the thing was, was they wanted uh, workers that produce the batteries for their electric cars to be able to be unionized. They, they're, they're still they're working on cars. How are they not in the fucking automotive union? Is there different? <laughs> I guess because the there are batteries. I don't know. It's dumb. <laughs> That's insane. Ah, uh, I don't got anything more to say about Bungie besides, what the fuck are you doing? How? Wake up, Bungo. <clears throat> How did you let it fucking come to this? How did this happen to this? You know. Probably the worst thing was that tweet that Pete Parsons put out. Oh, the fact that they kept the him saying we kept the right people. Yeah. That well, one? Yes, that one. But he also put a tweet out that just sounded tone deaf. Oh, I feel so bad for these. These are talented people. I highly recommend you hire them if you can. And I was just like, oh, jeez, dude, shut the hell up. A lot of his fucking tweets give off either he didn't do it or he did some uh, chat GPT and then doctored it a little bit. Uh, there's also um, I guess people have said that there's this whole layer of executives with Bungie that nobody knows about. Oh, great. Nobody sees. Like, we, we're not familiar with them. It's not a Pete Parsons and the people. It's the, the people actually making the decisions. And they're awesome. separated from the public. You love it when that gets fucking said. <laughs> yep. Hated. Fucking hated. You. 
Well, let's move on to something a little bit more lighthearted. <laughs> Before we decide to end it off here. Because we've okay, got yeah. too much more. Uh, we had TwitchCon, and we also had BlizzCon. Just happened. BlizzCon. Uh, only a couple things I give a shit about with uh, TwitchCon. Uh, they're added stories on Twitch. Uh, they made some improvements to clips, and there's also an editor now on Twitch itself. A person? No. They just added a clip editor. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Most likely won't ever use it unless someone, like, unless I pay attention and clip my own things, or someone does it for me, and I just do it on that. But the major one that I noticed that they did. Oh, got hiccups. You can now simulcast as an affiliate or a partner, unless specifically said in contract with the partner contract. You can now stream on Twitch and any other platform, not just the mobile ones, everywhere. So if you stream oh, on Twitch, cool. you can now stream on YouTube as well. Also, Kick or Facebook. Take your pick. Do them all. Wow. Have you tried it yet, What's up, Jared? Have you tried it yet? No. I There's been some shit going on, so I haven't been able to stream. I thought about doing it tonight when we play, but I am too fucking tired. <laughs> And I'm not sure how long we'll be going on, like, with playing tonight. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm... I'm excited that they added it. Because then it's less work for me. <laughs> I don't have to stream on Twitch, record it, and then upload it to YouTube as the VOD. I can now just the stream on the YouTube and have the it be... VOD! It's VOD. Uh, <clears throat> That's right. I'll just need to make thumbnails. There you Take go. a picture of your thumbnail. I'm, I'm not doing it. Gross. That. And it says, this is the thumbnail. Huh? That's, right. That's so true. It is the thumbnail. That's right. This guy's a genius. There's Get more job. comedy. Exactly. There's more things they uh, announced at TwitchCon. I just... Nothing else piqued my interest like TwitchCon uh, or BlizzCon. Twitch. Oh, okay. Did that There's nothing else that. Yeah, that happened recently as well. I just said that. Everything I just said. What, Jared? Okay. Jared, I didn't realize that this was all because of TwitchCon. Because I, I, we've talked about this before. I just didn't realize that this was a TwitchCon announcement. Yeah, it was TwitchCon announcement. They just uh, did that. It That's was a week maybe two weeks before BlizzCon. It was recent. I just don't remember the exact timing. Uh, yeah. I, there's nothing else to pique my interest. That's just the major one. They finally fucking added it. They should have been there to begin with. There are some caveats to it. Uh, I'm gonna put a link to their fucking guidelines in the description. Okay. There you go. So you will know the caveats. Because I'm not going to stay here and explain them to you. I'm not teaching you how to do it. Unless That's you really want to. Let us know in the comment section down below. I mean, you want a video to fucking how to multicast and shit? I'll make a basic ass video. Because I don't know everything. A basic ass video? So are you going to make a video of your ass? No. Uh, I'll just be teaching people how to use the uh, thing I'm going to use. Okay. And we'll go with our final topic, BlizzCon. Woohoo, BlizzCon! BlizzCon. Yeah. We got Diablo Let's 4's go. first expansion announced. Yeah, Best of some... Hatred. We should have seen that one coming. Yeah. I love the lions. You sent a little girl. 
<laughs> I haven't watched the trailer. I'll probably watch it after this, but uh, uh, it that's a lot of fun. Like it hasn't been long enough for a DLC, but with the styling of what Diablo is, maybe it's been too long. Maybe, but they are there on season two, and their seasons have been. I wasn't a big fan of the first season, but season two is really badass. You get vampire powers, which is really kind of cool. That is cool. Uh, from my knowledge, that first update with the season and everything really fucking just made everyone hate Diablo 4. Oh, yeah. No, they had to backtrack and change some things, which <clears throat> have <laughs> been improved dramatically. It might have improved, but people still stop fucking playing the game. Yes. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, I bet those changes will be better. Yeah. And they're also, one of the other things they announced was they're going to be doing... You know, they have seasons, but seasonal events, so they'll be having one coming up for winter. Oh yeah, so like the fucking holiday events. Yeah, I think it's kind of cool they do that kind of stuff, yeah, right? No, it, it, it's top tier everywhere. Every uh, game does it. So doing it isn't a bad thing. Uh, they announced the next... Holy shit, they announced the next three expansions in WoW? Oh yeah, okay. I didn't see that part. The World Soul Saga. I... That's not a thing I... I expected them to do one more expansion, but apparently... Three. <laughs> Damn. First of these expansions called The War Within and released in 2024. Skinny Penis might be excited. We'll see you later because it's probably going to be on before we go to bed. <laughs> that <does happen>. Penis. <laughs> That's the nickname oh, we use. Yeah, okay. Uh, WoW Classic is now getting Cataclysm. Overwatch 2 added a Samoan. It looks yeah. good. I've seen some uh, some stupid interactions with his ulti. If he throws it too close to an edge and it falls off the edge, it drags him down with it. It's great. Mm, that's, got next. Not, What's up? that's not great. It's fucking funny. Yeah, it's pretty funny. It is hilarious. Hearthstone's got a new expansion. It just means more cards. More cards. I'm not. I don't know if they're gonna do a uh, story with it or not. I haven't been keeping up with any like the Hearthstone story shit. Uh, Diablo tabletop RPG announced. That's cool. And Phil Spencer <laughs> makes a surprise appearance at BlizzCon 2023 opening ceremony. Surprise, quote unquote. I mean, they just acquired him. Everyone knew he was going to show up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what I feel like. I feel like it was a safe bet. That everyone should have known. Absolutely. Uh, right. Warcraft Rumble. What the fuck is that? Let's get rid right. Probably another thing that they're gonna make go away. Oh, they had... Mute. One of their games, they announced a K-pop uh, tie-in. With... Uh, Overwatch 2 had a K-pop oh, yeah. tie-in. The they concert... The right yes, yeah, so there was a concert that they did at BlizzCon at the last day. Love it when I try to play something and the fucking thing doesn't work right. Cool. 
but thank you for having the video embedded in you, but I can't fucking watch it on your site. Good job, IGN. Oh yeah, that happens a lot. I don't know why. I just want to see what Warcraft Rumble is. I call it dumb and then we'll end the podcast. <laughs> Oh, wait a second. Let me guess. It's their version of TFT. That would be hilarious. <clears throat> What's TFT? Auto Battler. <laughs> Basically, What's you buy about? units, set it on a board, and then fight other people's units. Oh, it's like the Yu Gi Oh! Dual Monsters. Nice monsters. Maybe. Kinda? I don't know. It's not bad, but if you just play the most broken shit every goddamn time, it's easy. Isn't that how like, games have become? <laughs> Playing this quote unquote meta? Yeah. Which I really hate because this is the point of these customizable games. Uh... Be able to customize shit like i've been playing diablo right and there's this sorcerer build that you chain you use, uh, chain lightning or ball lightning and you're just unstoppable and i'm like after seeing everybody with it i'm like i'm gonna go run fire and actually build craft something and not run the meta because mm -hmm. it's just it's boring i guess it's the way the west does that make sense yeah. I mean, it's limiting because I'm just like, oh, I can't use this new weapon I just picked up because it doesn't fit the meta build. Or I can't. Yeah, that's, that's what happens when you follow meta. And I mean, that's when there's like seasons and stuff like that. That's unfortunately how it's going to work is that there's always going to be those builds that you just follow that okay. are above the rest. It's like a tower defense. Balloon battle? Mm, the, the fucking rumble. You it know, a lot of like people play defense. Do we think World of Warcraft is going to be on Game Pass? Good question. Blood out opinion, I'd be surprised. Not saying that they count. wouldn't do it, but I'd be surprised if they put it on there and just let people pay 10 bucks a month to also get WoW. Uh, they might add it to Ultimate. I don't know. It'd be cool. In a sense, it would technically be cheaper to do that, because you get access to a multitude of other games. But no, I don't I don't expect them to uh to do that. It'd be weird. It'd be weird for them to give something away for free, basically. So, I don't know. I'm hoping also too is that they may re-release uh, re stuff that they put away now that Microsoft owns them, like Heroes of the Storm. I I think Heroes of the Storm's fully dead. Uh, that's too bad. I don't think that one's ever coming back. Mind you, it still functions. People can still play it. It's still like oh, this. I thought it was dead dead. No. Uh, let me double check right now on the... Launch you. If I hit this button... It's right here. Yeah. I can still install the game. Uh, 
it was a good idea. Like, they had a good idea with it, but they just didn't back it enough, you know? I think that happens with a lot of games that they take chances on, but... Yeah. Yeah. Happens with a lot of fucking shit that they just don't... Yeah. Don't back. But Maybe we'll see some. I don't know. We'll see. Our games are. We're. I don't know. I was thinking that video games. Sorry, I'm yawning. I, I was thinking that video. Not only do we have a lot of choices in video games, but they're all kind of clones of each other. In some way or another, but. Yeah. It's funny you mention that because I made a joke. Jared sent me a video of a uh, another gotcha game coming out. And my response was they these gotcha game companies just look at the popular games and pick and choose what would be the easiest of these games to implement into their game. <clears throat> oh my God. Yeah, these gotcha games, just look at what's popular and grab the easiest thing they could add and put in their game. I mean, at this point, they should just make a jiggle simulator where you tickle the girl and she jiggles. We have that. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry I even brought that up. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, you guys got any closing thoughts? Anything just... Uh, anything but closing on that. Jimmy Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jared's um, brand. That's Jared's brand? Oh, That's sorry, Jared. Brand. I didn't mean to poach on your brand. It's alright, Dad. I learned from the best. <laughs> Maybe all the ass. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh, you haven't been yeah. around in a while. Yeah, I, I know. It. It's okay. Oh, I can't go that way. <sighs> That's alright. So, closing thoughts are well, all three of us were here. We had fun. Come see us later. That's right. I don't know what anyone's doing later, but. Oh, we'll figure that out later. Yeah. That works. You got anything, Jared? Anything on your mind? Anything at all. Dealer? Sorry, I sneezed. Um. Uh -huh. I got this. I don't know if you have Sonic over where you are, but I've got this Route 44 so, uh, drink size of an mm -hmm. iced coffee today from Sonic for $2.69. It's amazing. Damn. I mean, it's like, it sucks. Like, the quality's ass. But it's amazing how much I got for, for less than $3. <laughs> it's terrible. Well, I got a lot of it. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> that There's so many things I could attribute that to. That's us playing League. That's you playing any gotcha game. It's bad. But I can make a lot of pulls. <laughs> That's amazing, Jared. Happy for you. Glad you got a lot of bad coffee. <laughs> for cheap. Yeah, for cheap. And he's going to be awake all night now. That's the bottom line. Amazing. Uh, doesn't really have that effect on me. <laughs> Thank you for dining with us tonight as we discussed what was on our minds. Fucking nonsense. That's what. I was your host. Nah. They were your co-hosts. Jared. Hi. And Sean. Bye. Have a good evening. Have a nice night.